A few years ago, I built a sawmill, which is shown in another video in this site. I soon found out that the blades didn't stay sharp very long, and buying new blades was quite expensive. I needed a way to sharpen them. I found a sharpening system on the YouTube channel of Map Walgamont. This was easy to make with the tools I had available. All saw teeth need to be set. That is, the teeth are bent slightly outward to make the curve wider from, than the blade so it does not stick in the log. My bandsaw blades are set one left, the next raker tooth is, has no set, and the next is set right as shown here. I had some manual tooth setters that I inherited from my grandfather. They appeared to work okay, but they did not give a uniform set on both sides of the blade. This caused the blade to wander up slightly, which is why I wanted to find a better way to set the teeth quickly and more uniformly, two at a time. My setter sets both left and right teeth at the same time and advances the blade three teeth at a time. This video is how I built and operate the slightly automated version of this step. This is my design built on Golden Dredger's bandsaw sawtooth setter. I like Golden Dredger's design, but I wanted a way to speed up the process and make it more accurate. I added a lever mechanism to get three teeth at a time easily. Shown here is a semi-automated setter that I built on a scrap piece of plywood. I used a four inch vise I had on hand. The conduit pipes shown are to support the blade. Two by fours raise the blade to the height of the vise. The setter was made from two pieces of one and a half inch angle with an advanced mechanism made from one inch and one and a quarter inch steel. I also made an original guide system to guide the blades through the setter. Golden Dredger sells a version without the auto feed feature for just a little more than the cost of materials. So take a look at his website for the setter and a tutorial on how to adjust both our setters. I wanted to make a sawtooth setter using easily obtained and inexpensive materials. I have a welder and this was a good excuse to use it. I had an old vise that I didn't use much, so I used that for the vise in the setter up. The setter consists of two one and a half inch steel angles with five sixteenths inch nuts welded at a slight angle to the top of each angle as shown. Pressure to set each tooth is provided by adjustable bolts. I used Loctite on the thread bolts so they stayed where they were put. How to adjust the bolts is described in the Golden Dredger website. He does a good job and I decided I couldn't do better. I added a machinist dial indicator to the setter to measure the amount of set of each tooth as it was being set. There was room for only one indicator on the setter as one on the other setter screw would interfere with the vise handle. I found out earlier that I needed a way to support the bandsaw blade in the sharpener and I used this system for the setter. This consists of three pieces of one half inch metal conduit fastened to the base using conduit clamps. I also put pins in the conduit to keep the conduit from turning. The blade is guided in the setter by specially designed bearing guides. The blade is held in place by specially made guides shown here. They are made from three quarter inch and one and a half by one and a half inch pipe nipples and one inch piece of steel bar welded together. The bars tap for a quarter twenty bolt which holds a bearing. The union is fastened to the conduit with a quarter twenty bolt with a T-handle. I had an old four inch vise that I used as the actual blade setter. I found I needed to mount the setter in a vise. Golden Dredger welded his setter to the vise, but I found a way to screw the setter to the vise jaw insert so I could use it as a vise again. I removed the vise jaw inserts and drilled the campered holes in the setter angles. I got some longer screws and fastened the setter angles to the vise jaws. I noticed that the blade advance bar wandered away from the blade. I've solved this problem by installing a blade advance guide as shown in this picture. It keeps a blade advance bar at a fixed distance from the blade being set. Bandsaw blades may be different widths, but to accommodate different blades, I need a method of adjusting the height of the blade in the setter, so the blade gullet is even with the top of the setter angles. Golden Dredger used two 5 16th inch nuts welded to the base of each setter angle, as shown here. Bolts are inserted into the nuts to adjust the height of the blade in the setter. I ground the corners off some 5 16 nuts and put them on top of the bolts to increase the diameter of the adjusting bolts. I cured them with thread locker. The blade is advanced by means of a lever mechanism that advances the blade three teeth at a time with each pull of the lever. The lever moves the advance bar, a distance determined by adjusting two line-on insert nuts on a threaded rod. 
The setter may also be used in reverse to set the opposing teeth. This allows the setter to be used on the opposing teeth using the machinist dial. The blade must be turned inside out for this operation. This adjustment is made using the outer nut on the threaded rod. Reverse operation is shown in the video at the end. Here's the tooth setter in operation in the forward position. Here is the setter setting the teeth in the opposite direction. The blade is turned inside out and run through the setter in the reverse direction. This is a method if you want to use the setter with the machinist dial. If watching the dial is not important, both teeth can be set at the same time. See Golden Red Juice YouTube video on how to set this up.